DNA-wise, bonobos are our closest relatives. Now, they are non-aggressive while we live with an epidemic of violence. One glaring difference, the bonobos are very promiscuous. Would such a paradigm shift help us? Let's consider. Hello philosophers, I'm Chico. Welcome to The Philosopher Show, where we consider the greatest questions of human history. We're in the middle of the sex series, and I want to reiterate before I even get into it. My job here is not to judge you for the decision that you make, but to help you think through those decisions so you can make the decision you want. Also, this is not a religious video. I'm considering philosophical arguments. That's not to say religion is unimportant. Religion has a lot of stuff to say. I'm not going to cover those things. Many popular magazines like Scientific American, Psychology Today, love to point out the fact about the bonobos being promiscuous. Whereas chimps are violent and they'll use sex sometimes to make up with people, bonobos use sex as currency. They have sex with each other before they even start to get violent with each other. And that seems to calm down the situation and they don't seem to be that violent. And remember, these are our genetically closest relatives. Should we adopt a similar strategy? To be honest, I think this is one of the worst arguments I've ever heard. I think when we hear this argument, what we think is that the bonobos are having so much sex, they're in this state of euphoria and they're just like, no, go ahead, bro. Yeah, man, though you have the fruit. I'm so happy right now. But that's not at all what happens. What happens is you're about to come into conflict with another bonobo rather than actually fighting you have sex. Imagine a bully comes up to you about to take your lunch money and you have to have sex with that bully just so you guys don't get into a fight. I mean people you're not attracted to, maybe a person of a, a sex that you're not attracted to. That sounds terrible. But that's exactly what the bonobos are doing. So just a little bit of thought and you can see this is an awful idea. Not only that but they do other things that we consider morally wrong with sex. So the argument is that we should imitate bonobo sexual behavior in order to be non-violent. But bonobos have sex with their children. Should we imitate them there? Now I know what you might say, but pedophilia is wrong. We should imitate them in the places where it's not wrong. But that's the whole question in the first place. Our question is, is polyamory wrong? Just because it de-escalates violence, assuming that it does, doesn't mean that it's a good thing to do. A third objection here, I kind of think it's worth the violence to make sex something more than currency. I love my wife very much. For us, sex is something sacred and special. If we live like this, it wouldn't be. In fact, this sounds a lot more like the dystopian novel by Aldous Huxley, Brave New World. They have this famous line there, everybody belongs to everybody else. You're not allowed to deny someone else the use of your body to have sex with. And in that way, they all get along very well. That seems terrible. I'd rather have violence than be forced to have sex with just everybody. The fourth objection, do we really need this? I mean, look, there are all kinds of degrading ways to curb violence. I could chain everybody down to a chair and then there would be no more war. But that's a disgusting idea. We think as humans, we shouldn't be forced into something like that. We should be moral of our own volition. And the fact that we fail isn't a reason to chain us down. In the same way, the fact that we fail isn't a reason for us to resort to prostitution for peace. Objection five. I'm sure you know people that are sexually promiscuous that are very violent. So I don't know that this would actually even work in the first place, at least for humans. Objection six, it doesn't work for bonobos either. Bonobos can be very violent. One unique thing about the bonobos is that the females are in charge, but the females can be very violent. There are male bonobos that are walking around without fingers, even one that got his penis bit off. That is the most violent thing I've ever heard. I mean, you may say that it's not killing you, but hey man, you may as well be dead. So that is the bonobos argument. I know it seems like it disparaged this argument, but the truth of the matter is this is very sloppy thinking. Just a little bit of analysis shows that we don't want anything to do with bonobo society. In fact, the idea is weird. We should be imitating monkeys? Shouldn't they be imitating us? I mean, I realize they're peaceful, but they're also throwing feces at each other. Anyway, let me know what you think about this argument. And again, if you have other arguments that you've heard or you've thought of and you want me to engage with, I'd love to do so. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tag a friend so they can join the conversation. That's all I got for today. Adios.